Hi, Kids Place Kids. Here I am in my little fort. I couldn't invite anybody over, so I kind of created some friends to hang out with because I found Vanicula. The book that I had in the last video, I thought it was Vanicula, but it was one that came later in the series. So there's more by Deborah and James Howe. There's Celery Stalks at Midnight. There's Holiday Inn. Um, so I know they're pretty good books, or at least for me they are. So yesterday I tried reading. Um, and just to get through the first chapter and a little bit more was way too long. So all I'm going to do today is just read the intro. And if it piques your interest, then maybe you can um, order it online or um, get it at the library when the library opens up again. So this is Panicula. It's about a little bunny. And it's written in the voice of the dog. So here is the intro. This book you are about to read was brought to my attention in a most unusual way. One Friday afternoon, just before closing time, I heard a scratching sound at the front door of my office. When I opened the door, there before me stood a sad-eyed, droopy-eared dog carrying a large, plain envelope in his mouth. He dropped it at my feet, gave me a soulful glance, and with great, quiet dignity, sauntered away. Inside the envelope was the manuscript of the book you now hold in your hands, together with this letter. And the letter said, Gentlemen, the enclosed story is true. It happened in this town to me and the family with whom I reside. I have changed the names of the family in order to protect them. But in all other respects, everything you'll read here is factual. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Harold. I come to writing purely by chance. My full name occupation is Dog. I live with Mr. and Mrs. X, called here the Monroes, and their two sons, Toby, aged eight, and Pete, aged 10. Also sharing our home is a cat named Chester, whom I am pleased to call my friend. We were a typical American family, and still are, though the events related in my story have, of course, had their effect on our lives. I hope you will find this tale of sufficient interest to yourself and your readers to warrant its publication. Sincerely, Harold X, The Dog. So, it's just too long for me to read. It took way too much time. But Harold tells a pretty good story of when a bunny comes to live with them. The bunny named Vanicula. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was I read a little article about f how f much fun it's been for kids to build forts right now. So many kids are stuck at home. Um, they've been in their rooms, they've been in their living room, they've been in their yard. And I built this little fort and it was kind of fun even for me. I just remember how good you guys were at building forts at Kids Place. And um, if you haven't done it yet, I think it would be a fun way to create a new space to hang out in. Um, my girls, when they were little, we built one teepee and we used one of those big blue canvases. We had some long poles. They played in that teepee. It was big. It could fit probably five adults. For quite a while, we built a fort out of hay bales and it was kind of like a maze, but it was really a cool fort. But Eventually a family of snakes moved in and then we didn't play in it very much anymore. We never really built a tree house even though we lived in the woods, but they did create a lot of spaces with rocks and tables and chairs out in the woods. So you could build a fort outside. You'd probably have to get your parents permission to build one inside, but um, they're really fun. They create a new space. You can bring in your stuffies, you can read, you could even have school in your fort if you wanted to. So I hope you think about building a fort. If you build a cool one, shoot me a picture. And I hope you read Vanicula if you haven't already. And maybe you'll read it again. Miss you guys. Build a fort. Bye.